Little known disease is resulting in thousands of leg amputations every year, but there is a treatment that could prevent it. Here's health and wellness reporter Sonia Azad. You look great. Thank you. From Tina Deal's outward <laughs> smile and southern charm, you'd never know the internal pain yeah, she's suffered. Yeah, it's intense. The 61-year-old was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes 18 years ago, and over time, the neuropathy in her legs became excruciating. It felt like somebody had a knife and just stuck it down in your leg and did like this. This feeling was familiar and reminded Tina of her father. He was type 1 diabetic. Mm -hmm. He had double amputee. Pretty common move, especially among Latinos and blacks. African Americans are four times more likely to have their legs cut off than their white counterparts. Cardiologist Aaron Horn says more than 160,000 Americans get amputations every year from a problem called peripheral arterial disease, or PAD where plaque builds up in the blood vessel walls, reducing blood flow to your lower limbs. If you have blockages in the arteries that give blood supply to your heart muscle, it's very likely that you also have blockages in the arteries that give blood supply to your legs and feet. That can lead to severe neuropathy, even death. 18 million people in this country suffer from it. Most of them have never heard about it. Diabetics like Tina and her father are high risk. We can successfully oftentimes salvage many of these individuals' limbs. Rather than amputate, Dr. Horn used stents to open up blockages in Tina's left leg. About two weeks after that, I had the right leg. Now pain-free, the diabetic and breast cancer survivor wears that smile <laughs> even bigger. Sonia Azad. Channel 8 News. Good information to know.